the thin white duke, the prince of ruins, the white wolf, has finally returned in audiobook form. And novels, for like the thousandth time. He's getting reprinted and released in audiobook. It is the color of a bleached skull, his flesh, and the long hair which flows below his shoulders is milk white. What you've just heard is the opening line of the first book in the saga Elric of Malnibone, read by Samuel Rukin, who will serve as the narrator for these audiobooks, hopefully for the entire run, rather than doing the first volume, Elric of Malnibone, and then doing the second volume, Stormbringer, and the third volume, The White Wolf, uh, done by different narrators, volumes uh, two and three. Hopefully he'll do the whole thing. hate when they change up narrators like partway through because of like rights or licensing issues or they handed it over to a different publisher or something. Please don't do that. Just keep the guy. Samuel Rukin is an actor mostly known for uh, his role on the AMC drama Turn, uh, Washington Spies, great series, highly recommend it. He plays Colonel John Graves Simcoe, total fucking asshole. And I'm very impressed by his voice work just for uh, within that first clip of him reading the book as opposed to his turn on the show, Turn. Um, he actually, if I'm not mistaken, pitched his voice an entire like octave up um, for that character. It's fantastic. Have a listen whose job it was to dispense mercy. Now, I think more than having a good actor read the audiobooks or have them reprinted in the first place all together in one giant uh, like th trilogy collection instead of scattered across the universe, or the multiverse, rather, of just a bunch of different little books to pick up here and there, um, it's great because all these audiobooks and all these reprintings are um, one going to be in the internal chronological order because there is an internal chronological order to all this whereas every other version has just been you have to pick them separately and read them in the internal chronological order if you want there was another reprinting a couple of years ago um, where it was it was uh, how Michael Moorcock intended them to be written originally Elric was written uh, scattershot sort of there was no um, specific way uh, to like read them they were they were Conan stories and within the Conan universe you don't really have to read them in order Conan the Conan universe and the stories weren't um, written in order they're uh, they're across like different times and periods of Conan's life and that's how the Elric saga was initially written and um, how Michael Moorcock prefers it to be read is just as they were written so find whatever publication date he uh, wrote them or get by these collections like from a couple of years ago and um, read them that way but this is actually the internal chronological order which is great um the other thing about this trilogy this reprint is that elric of melnibone volume one anyway is going to have elric of melnibone uh stormbringer my bad not stormbringer elric of melnibone the sailor on the seas of fate the fortress of the pearl and finally the white wolf so you get the first half of the saga all wrapped up into one little bow in the internal chronological order Whereas when the Elric saga first started, it was about an albino swordsman traveling the land as a mercenary, killing monsters and getting wrapped up into political bullshit he didn't want to get wrapped up into. And then later on, his origin story, the prequel uh, book, Elric of Melnibone, gosh, all this talking, um, was written after the fact. Um, they established him as a wandering albino swordsman mercenary killing monsters and getting wrapped up into political bullshit that he didn't want to get wrapped up into um so yeah it's all in internal order volume two stormbringer will consist of the vanishing tower the revenge of the rose the bane of the black sword and stormbringer with an aside volume maybe including elric at the end of time which um, introduces Elric into the multiverse more. It introduces one of his future wives, and I believe his time-traveling, space-hopping daughter with mysterious powers. <laughs> Volume 3 of this trilogy, The White Wolf, will consist of the Dream Thief's daughter, the Skraling Tree, and the White Wolf's son. 
maybe with Elric at the end of time or something thrown in there also if it's not in volume two. Um, that's the most exciting part about this whole reprinting of the trilogy and it finally being on audio is that you will get all of these books wrapped up into one. There's no official word anyway of volume three, The White Wolf in this new reprinting being released on audi- on audiobook and audible. I haven't seen it in the little audible list. It's not on there yet. So far, they only have volume one and volume two, um, Elric of Melnibene and Stormbringer. Um, hopefully we'll get that. But uh, this just means more Elric for everyone. You've already read the Elric books in the form of The Witcher. You've already played the Elric video games in the form of The Witcher and uh, a little bit of Blood Omen Legacy of Cain thrown in there also. So this just means more Elric for everyone. Um, unlike the uh, showrunner of The Witcher saying, oh, The Witcher is for everyone, even though I don't believe it is, and the way they've been handling it, especially with the feedback I've heard from The Witcher Season 2 anyway, I haven't watched it yet, it's, it's on my backlist. Um, this just means, though, more Elric for actually everyone to intake, to read, to enjoy, to listen to, and that's the great thing. I personally listen to all of my books, mostly, if I can, because my eyes get burned out really easily, um, even though I do still collect a bunch of physical books. I think that's more of a hobby of collecting books rather than reading the books, right? So uh, I listen to all my books. They actually have a good narrator. I hope they don't change up the narrator this time around um, to somebody else, to somebody boring or worse, crossing my fingers for that. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, have you looked up uh, Samuel Rookin after this? What do you think of that little voice clip? Um, what do you think of Turn? If you've watched the show Turn, it's a great show. You should watch it if you haven't watched it. And uh, what? how excited are you about these Elric reprintings and Elric finally being on Audible? The first volume is going to be released on February 15th. Um, that's literally in a couple of weeks. And then volume two, if I remember correctly, it was a- sometime around April, April 22nd maybe. And then volume three, The White Wolf, is going to be released in June or July, like 13th probably or something like that. No hard date on those, but volume one is February 15th on audiobook and being reprinted in a hardcover, beautiful, illustrated edition with a foreword by Neil Gaiman, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, give give all that a try or check it out or put it on your wish list or something. Um, congrats. Finally, The White Wolf is returning where he properly should be. And that video game is also being developed. Don't forget, you can find more about that video game news here somewhere around here. I put a little link. So I'm Calypso. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.